Hey, there wasn't a video in maybe a week or so, but I had uh, work to do. So uh, I was busy all the time creating presets and doing daily work. But I wanted to do a video today just to give you all an update. And uh, I posted some of the presets on my social media accounts on uh, Instagram and Twitter and so on and um, said a few things about it. And um, yeah, um, all these presets are possibly available inside the Bitwig released version or the stable version. So when you buy or have a running plan and you download the stable final version of Bitwig Studio, you will have instantly access to all these presets. Um, some of the presets are, um, a few of them, I think uh, three or two of them are shared already here on YouTube. And I'm gonna remove these um, presets from the GitHub repository because they are outdated now. I made better versions of it and uh, tweaked a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, I removed these um, presets basically from the GitHub repository and they will be available inside GitHub. So you don't have doubled versions or twice uh, of the same presets inside your library. So this is basically one information you have to uh, know when you basically look at my um, GitHub repository or watched some of the videos and um, want to download this, the, the preset and it's not in the GitHub repository, it's inside uh, Bitwig Studio already. Um, when, the, when the final version is releasing of Bitwig Studio, I don't know. Um, someday in the future, uh, I still don't know it. Um, everyone is waiting for the final release. It's maybe weeks away maybe another month i don't know really we are in beta 5 at the moment so i uh, hopefully soon <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah and i also um doesn't stop creating uh, presets i already have new presets in the making and i already showed some of some of it uh, yesterday here it's called monster where i created some kind of um wavetable synthesizer but more um, to aimed towards a baseline synthesizer so when you have uh, like a serum and you want to make mid-range baselines you probably go to the net and search for uh, crawl um, wavetables and you download these wavetables and you have um, basically a complete baseline in one wavetable, a very complex uh, oscillator shape, and you scan through the wavetable with this uh, VT knob, and your baseline is basically ready. But the problem with that is um, that these wavetables are already so complex that you can't do much change to it. You can at filtering maybe or something like that but if you want to completely change the sound it's not possible because it's already so complex so my idea was um, let's create some kind of wavetable synthesizer for bass lines that not have so much um, uh, the wavetables are not so complex like the ones you know from serum more like basic uh, wavetables and when you combine it with the rest of Bitwig and the grid, you end up with a lot of overtones or complex shapes. But the benefit is you can shape it for yourself. So um, you have more options and you can get more out of one or two wavetables. So um, this is how it sounds. I first, uh, fir at first I cre uh, created a patch here. It looks like this. And then I try to separate um, the interface from the actual preset logic. I never done this before, but I tried it here because um, I think sometimes the interface have to look different than the actual um, um, preset logic. And I tried this here and I used a lot of these um, wireless modulators, as you can see, and I mapped them to the um, 
knobs here at the at the logic section and yeah this is how i want to look it uh, you have a, basically a wavetable section at the top and you have a sub oscillator at the bottom and um, you can mix and match these two and for instance i can um, turn down the sub volume and uh, um, the wavetable volume and you hear nothing when i press some keys on my keyboard you hear basically nothing and then you can bring in the sub and you have a bass um, typical um, sub sine wave so pretty simple and then you have at the top already a selected um, wavetable you can change the selection here I have maybe um, I don't know how much I how much wavetable some kind of wavetables here 20 or 30 I don't know and um, yeah you can select them with the snob here and you can bring them in or just remove the sub entirely and just hear the wavetables so some wavetables and you can scan through the wavetables with the snob here And you probably can uh, just use the wave table to create a bass. You probably can get away with that. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, let's um, remove the wrap. The wrap actually it's it's a um, it's a gain and knob. I I didn't know how to call it right, but it's basically the amount you mix into the wrap function of Bitwig, which um, basically converts an audio signal to a phase signal. And then you can apply certain uh, phase modules from, from the grid and basically transform the sound. And after you transform the sound, you get it back to, um, to a sine wave. <coughs> and this is basically um, the wrap knob here is basically the gain how much you drive the signal into this wrap function. And as you can hear, it already gives you some nice modulations or overtones. And when you start to bend the wave or use the formant knob, You get a lot of interesting harmonies out of this wavetable already. And then you have, uh, when you bring in the sub again, so now we have basically a wavetable and a sub oscillator just mixed together. And when we use this FM knob here, you can basically frequency modulate the sub oscillator with the wavetable. So you end up basically with a sine wave and a lot of harmonies created by the wavetable. And you can imagine when you start to um, apply some modulations with the LFO or with the automation, you can create pretty interesting um, yeah, bass lines that uh, develop over time. And um, yeah, I added basically a lot of wavetables. You can um, bend and shape these wavetables. You can add a sub oscillator and then you can, you can uh, frequency modulate the sub oscillator with the wavetable. So this alone gives you a lot of um, overtones and bass lines you can create with this single patch here. And um, after this um, after this patch or preset, I also uh, created an F F FX section.
And in this FX section, you have basically a reverb to add some, um, yeah, stereo effects or some kind of a roomy or stereo effect. I don't know how to call it. It sounds a little bit metallic, but uh, I think that's pretty great for bass lines. And I have, um, I have inside here already a filter, a low pass filter, and you can start to use it with the knobs here at the bottom. So basic LFO modulated cut off. And I kept the speed of the modulation free, so it's basically not uh, bound to the grid, to the beat grid. And I think um, that's a benefit because um, a lot of times when you create bass lines, it's better that you have a free running um, LFO. That's my experience at least, because you can create those in between rhythmic, um, yeah, rhythmic patterns. So it's not always the best to have modulation straight on the grid, right? So that's why I um, kept this free running. So it's probably also nice to um, automate the rate knob here down below. I didn't stop there. I added also an amp device here to create more harmonies and uh, rich overtones. And you can turn it just this knob here up. Or actually, if you turn this amp uh, knob up, you create an um, EQ, EQ curve here, and you can change the rate, how it's modulated, also free running. And if you um, have the right settings for the rate, for the LP cutoff and the amp section, you can create um, interesting patterns in between um, different LFO values um, because the, um, the cutoff and the amp um, working against each other and creating those interesting uh, rit rhythms. And you can of course uh, turn up the drive to completely distort the signal. So this is basically the monster patch. Um, it's not finished yet. That's why I'm not sharing it at the moment. I'm still tweaking some knobs. I will uh, add some um, macro knobs for the reverb here in front and maybe I add some more wavetables. But that is the current state of this patch and I think I'm gonna release it pretty soon. Maybe this week or at the weekend, I don't know. But just to give you an update what's happening uh, inside, my, inside my laboratory. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.